Are you sure we should be putting her in there? It, it's smoking a little bit more than usual. We don't have the great, oh him. Sorry about that, sir. I, I, I didn't realize, hopefully, damn it. What? Oh yeah, now you show up to repair things. <laughs> a little late for this guy, don't you think? <laughs> Can you please not die in the hallway, sir? It, it's very narrow and rude. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. And for today's episode, we're gonna go Bigfoot hunting just as soon as I sign up for a golden toilet. Yep, that'll work. I can safely say I never expected to find Bigfoot in a hospital, but now that we have golden toilets, maybe we can make it work. I, I don't know if it's gonna happen this episode because I don't know how far into the game the DLC is, but my goal for this series is gonna be to make it so that Bigfoot falls dead from surgery complications. It's really all that my hospitals can do. Whose bright idea was it to give me a hospital shaped like a giant dick? Like, even the front path looks like a little jism coming out. Okay, it's fine. It's not gonna deter me. I know what I'm doing. We've seen and done this before, right? We know what's required to make a great hospital. We need a reception desk. Not just one, but two GP offices. General diagnosis. Bathrooms without golden toilets, because apparently they want me to pay out the ass for them. A waiting room. A gross 70s themed staff room. A pharmacy. A psychiatry office. A ward. A place to kill people with pans on their heads. A place to kill people with light bulbs foreheads. And a new room in cardiology, where I'm guessing we're gonna kill people with hearts? I don't know, I'm not a doctor training license. I'm gonna go on record right now and say that giving any kind of license to my hospital is just a bad idea. Great news, the Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all of our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to run a training course. Staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn a new qualification. That's kind of amazing. Right, because that means that I can hire people with stupid names and have them be qualified to do their jobs. No more janitors with the last name Dick Swagger performing surgery. It's getting a little bit tricky to fit all these rooms into dick-shaped hospital, but overall, I feel like our training room came out quite nicely. Except for that one seat that's just kind of staring at a wall. Listen, it's like the commercials, okay? Five out of six doctors agree that they can see the presentation. So we're gonna start some training in psychiatry because I don't have a psychiatrist yet. And to do that, we're gonna hire Dr. Herman Freud, guest trainer, for $15,000. He had better be of the utmost credibility. For 15 grand, I expect that mustache to be packed full of cocaine. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, Dr. Freud should be here any minute. I'm really gonna hope that that isn't Dr. Freud. <laughs> what did I just say about the utmost credibility? Okay, you look like the kind of person that wants to see a psychiatrist, not train a psychiatrist. Oh, thank God. <laughs> nice to see you, Dr. Booker Sugar. The training room's in the back. I don't mean to rush education or anything like that, but do you guys think we could speed this up just a little bit? Like, maybe skip forward to the point in the presentation when we talk about clowns? No reason why. These clowns are both terrifying and... oddly entertaining. <laughs> they just keep standing up and making armpit fart sounds and touching everything in the hospital, right? He's just gonna go over here and then rifle through things. Being a clown contagious? If you sit on the same toilet seat that a clown sat on, will you become a clown? Is that how it happens? That can't be good, right? They're communicating psychopathically. We should be stopping this. Remember to sterilize that seat when you're done. Okay, I don't want any Freddie Mercury's coming in here and then leaving as a clown. <gasps> uh, that's not good. Did it not work? He walked away a clown lady. That's not how it's supposed to work. Wait, 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 wait. We had to train a psychiatrist to diagnose these people as clowns. 
because it wasn't already evident to everybody. And now we need to train them with the clown clinic, which is a very big and expensive and terrifying room. Should really expect no less. I would normally put a fire extinguisher in here, but I just assume that we're gonna put the clown in the tent, lock it up, and light it on fire anyway, so that's probably good enough. Is that a mime? Oh, what the hell was that? Is there a little mustache running across the floor? Did you guys see that? I was too busy staring at the mime. That's definitely a mime. There's no way you're a clown, right? Oh, that's usually not a good sound. Uh, ma'am? No, ma'am, everything is gonna be fine. I just need you to not, and there she goes. <laughs> what is this thing? What was that? I've got some kind of mustache infestation and a ghost. That's just great. All I wanna do is treat a clown, okay? I wanna see what the tent does. There's another one. What is that? Reporters from Two Point Radio has arrived. What? Now is not the time for a radio reporter to show up, okay? We have a mustache infestation and clowns and mimes and there's a whole lot going on right now and I can't follow it all. Uh, she'll be fine, right? I I'm sure she could show herself around. Here we go, finally, yes, come in please, we're ready for you. Just go ahead and hop in that tent and we should have you right as rain in no time. Hop in the tent is a turn of phrase, don't mean literally. Oh, we're gonna scare them from being a clown. <laughs> I guess that works too, I was still hoping for fire, oh. Um. Did it not work? Can you please not die? I really don't need ghost clowns to be added to my list of shit right now. I might be losing my mind, or I might be seeing the mime fart waft it in front of him and then smell it. Okay, you know what? Send him to the fire tent. For the love of God, please cure this mime, okay? I can't have them hanging out and filling my hospital full of mime gas. Are you not cured? Oh, I heard the dead sound. The, the dead sound is bad. What, what, are, what are these? What are they? There's so many of them. Die, die, they're like little poopy mustaches. Oh, what now? Who died? Oh, there he is. What was your problem? Uh, well, we'll never know. And another ghost. Oh yeah, run clown, run! Run and get a drink! How do you cure a mime then? Oh. You can indeed cure them with psychiatry. I wasn't sure. I guess sometimes it doesn't work. The thing is, psychiatry doesn't kill you when it goes wrong. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? So we've seen clowns and mimes, ghosts and strange little poopy mustache infestations, but no Bigfoot. Big feet? Big foots? Either way, we haven't seen any of them. So I think it's time for us to move on, especially because there seems to be a pandemic rolling in and I'm not dealing with that right now. And so another day begins in Two Point County, where students at the Mitten School of Medicine may soon be able to practice on actual living people. Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies, but there are no do-overs in real life. Listen, I have plenty of experience in that field. Should have no problem whatsoever. <laughs> Bring me to the big feet. Welcome to Tumble. This small town attracts tourists from across the county to climb Tumble Ridge and hike along the Tumble Downs. Luckily for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. Is it just in my dirty mind, or does this hospital look like it should be accepting my other hospital? So I don't have a lot of space in this hospital, and I'm not really sure what we're gonna need, so rather than build out the whole thing and then have people show up, like a normal hospital, Instead, I'm gonna build the hospital around people's needs. It's gonna be very custom fit. Hey, 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 where are you guys going? That's not a bad idea, come on. There will be no mutinies in my hospital, okay? I will not accept this. <laughs> Stop roaming around. Yeah, you know what, you're right, receptionist. There are a bunch of snowflakes. I don't know what they're complaining about. You're not supposed to call yourself a snowflake. 
What exactly is your problem? Oh, they're cold. Right, I unlocked a new item, the radiator. I never thought to use it. <laughs> okay, my bad, Arctic area. Maybe this isn't the greatest working conditions. As tempting as it is to see what would happen if all my staff froze to death in the middle of their shift, I get the feeling I should probably avoid that. Let's be honest, okay? It's gonna happen eventually. I can't really avoid these things. Everything seems to happen, and we need a fracture ward. Right, that was the one major thing that they asked of me. Oh, that's how people show up. Right, because they're all climbing and falling here in tumble. I just got the joke. <laughs> Why am I so slow today? Okay, hold on, the fracture ward's coming, folks. Just keep it together. Well, we've successfully built some kind of kinky swing for this old lady to lie in, but I'm not sure how that helped her. Now she's gonna hop into this terrifying steampunk closet and hopefully that will, I don't know, pour new bones into her. <laughs> There's no guessing what this stuff does. Yeah, you, you know what you're doing, lady. Everything is fine. You're totally not going to space. Did we just cut her in half? Did we just give her a haircut? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, come on! It was the first one! Wow. Okay, well, uh, yeah, who's next? Wait, what the hell happened over here? I didn't even get to see anything. This guy is coughing up a lung. Hey, uh, nurse, you might want to do something about- Oh, he's gonna go get changed before he dies. <laughs> you can't be dying in one of these stupid frocks, right? You, you gotta make sure that you die in your own clothes. Maybe we can use that to our advantage? We harness that somehow to stop people from keeling over? Probably not. <laughs> Why do they all have to die in the hallway? Right, like always out in public for everybody else to see. I don't even know what happened here. Did he choke to death? Uh, hopefully no ghost. Attention. Please lower your expectations. Trust me, expectations are at an all time low. <laughs> I may or may not have accepted a bunch of challenges at the same time, and now we have a lot of sick people rolling in. Someone important is arriving. What? Health Minister Tarkeen Foxbridge is arriving at the hospital? That's the dude that's been writing me all the letters! Why did nobody tell me this beforehand? I wouldn't have accepted all of these people! <laughs> There's a helicopter after helicopter showing up. I am not ready. Oh, that's him. That's him there. Okay, we should impress him. Just don't have anybody die in the hallways for like five minutes. Now is not the time to shit yourself, re receptionist. Did you see that? Dude just took off. <laughs> Come on, Foxbridge is waiting at the reception desk. <laughs> you can't do this to me. That's one big dump on my hospital floor. You know things have gone downhill when? Like, I don't think that dude saw anything. I haven't seen him in a bit. I haven't got any negative reports. So let's just assume that he didn't see any living mustaches, dead bodies, or giant piles of shit. Are you sure we should be putting her in there? It, it's smoking a little bit more than usual. We don't have the great, oh him. Sorry about that, sir. I, I, I didn't realize, hopefully, damn it. What? Oh yeah, now you show up to repair things. <laughs> a little late for this guy, don't you think? <laughs> Can you please not die in the hallway, sir? It, it's very narrow and rude. We haven't seen this thing in action in a while, and I'm kind of curious how many spinal injuries we can cause with it. <laughs> Why is it every time I go to look at somebody doing their job, they screw up? Okay, well, you know what? He was cured. That's all that matters. Once again, I gotta say this hospital has been a great success, but we didn't find any big feet, which was kind of the point. So I think I'm gonna have to deal out some punishment. You guys didn't really need those radiators, did you? And that conveniently timed earthquake is okay by you? Ma'am, before you go, I need to really quickly ask, did you die because of the earthquake, the cold, or the doctors? A patient has expired. Thank you. 
I also feel like janitors are overrated, so you know what? You guys are fired. I'll see you later. The ghosts own this place now. <laughs> the ghosts and the puddles of splooge in the waiting room. There's a lot of medical waste on the floor. Some patients have made complaints. You may need to hire janitors from the higher menu to clean it up. Oh, I'm well aware. It's not really the litter if it comes out of your dick. Remember everybody, if you huddle for warmth, especially with the little mustache guy, then you might stand a chance of surviving and contracting something new. How exciting. It's to the point where I can't even tell why people are dying. And one ghost keeps replacing another. I don't think you can have many ghosts. Or maybe not. Maybe you can have lots of ghosts. Maybe stuff can burst into flames. <laughs> Did I forget to put a fire extinguisher in that room? One minute you're saying it's too cold in here. The next minute you're saying we should put out the fire. I don't know what you people want. Machine has exploded. That's not good. Okay, but look at it on the bright side, right? I think we found the secret of immortality. Because this guy right here, he's not ready to die until the fire goes out. <laughs> so as long as we don't put the fire out, he, oh, no, wait, there he goes. Yeah, he he's finally given up. <laughs> There is no bright side. <laughs> I tried so hard. What exploded? Oh, yeah, that definitely looks like it exploded. Oh, is that another earthquake I sense? Nope, don't worry about it. It was just the pharmacy exploding. This hallway is great. We have so many people running from the ghosts. Fire test. <laughs> they keep fire slipping test. and eating shit. <laughs> And you know what, if they wanted to eat shit, they could quite literally, or they could just die. <laughs> Ma'am, was it the vomit, the pee, the splooge, the poop? What was it? Come on, I need to know. Oh, don't you go to the afterlife, I was talking to you. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Two Point Hospital, guys. And I might not have been able to find Bigfoot, but you better believe I had fun. And as always, if you guys wanna see more, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know. Next time, I'll definitely have the Bigfoot DLC. And I'm sure there's gonna be more strange cryptids and monsters than just Bigfoot, so it should make for a very interesting hospital. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.